Hello, greetings. I'm Jacob Polchak. I'm Autodesk Certified Instructor. Mm, I'm specialized in uh, mechanic uh, design and also in 3D printing. And in this short course, I would like to show you the way how you can create this kind of samples uh, of this, uh, this kind of um, things uh, using uh, Fusion 360. So let's go to the job. So first of all, we need a 2D documentation. Uh, I would like to create this shape with you. Uh, so please follow my steps and I think that together we can create it. So let's begin. First of all, we need to create some sketches. So when you mm, look into these dimensions, we can find them. So uh, we we'll try, we'll start from this 195, 207, and also the last one, which is very important for us, is also mm, the 10 millimeters. So let's begin. I'm creating to the sketch on the Z Y surface. So let's create. First of all, I'm creating this line. I'm creating dimension. I'm hitting OK. And then I'm using midpoint constraint to use this line to the origin. OK, great. Now let's go to the next step. Next step is create the construction line, which has 207 millimeters. And the last one, of course, it's, it's not the 10 millimeters. We will go for this 31. So let's do it. So I'm clicking again line. I'm unclicking construction. I'm creating it somewhere. Uh, I'm hitting dimension. Then I'm using again the midpoint constraint, using this to the to the point. Okay, we have it. Now let's go to the arcs. We need to create arcs. So I'm using three point arc. I'm hitting this point. And uh, the second point, it's not that important. The important thing is this uh, blue circle, which is showing us the tangent constraint. So now we don't need to use it, but we need to give it a dimension. So the dimension for it is 15 millimeters. I hope that I remember correct. Uh, yes, exactly. It's 15 millimeters. So we can continue the work. I'm using the line, I'm connecting these two dots, now using tangent, and our shape is created. To um, haste our job, um, I will use the mirror, so I can click the object, then I can click the mirror line, and the object is on the other side. Of course, I will use also this uh, arc, and our shape is created. We can go for the interior shape. So. For interior shape, we do the same, like we have an information that the offset has 20 millimeters and this line here has 112 millimeters. So let's do this line construction from the zero. I'm clicking 20 millimeters. I'm zooming a little bit in line again and 112. OK, again, midpoint construction constraint, sorry. I'm hitting to the dot. I'm doing again construction line, and uh, this time we have a 90, 90, 30, 93 millimeters. So I'm hitting again from this 20 millimeters. They are here, and it's 93. I'm hitting left mouse button. So again, let's uh, go to the dimensions, and we have a 50, 55 millimeters. So we can do it. Um, without the, it's not, it doesn't need to be so accurate. So I'm just, I will just hit 55. I will change it to the line. The shortcut is the X button. So when I click the line and hit X, it's, um, again, a construction line. When I hit it again by X, it's a normal line. So again, midpoint to the dot. And now I can create my arcs. So arc has a 10 millimeter dimension and we are doing it the same as previous so like that but let's click off this construction because we won't need it anymore line here line there tangents we have it here but we don't have it here yes uh, we also need to create the fillet here also the dimension is 10 millimeters so uh, right now we have a constraint also here here and here but uh, to be honest, this is not correct. We need to delete it and we need to, we need to create again uh, an arc. 
so we need to remember about stuff like this and the cat workflow need to be you need to be focused when you are working with cat so yes uh, let's make more dimensions 10 millimeters and here also 10 millimeter i will check them from dimensions yes i remember correctly so now i need to connect these two dots and again i will create the tangent constraint okay, click click and click okay we have it now let's um, be smart so i will use a mirror as my uh, second tool so i'm clicking on this object here and this and this and now i will hit the mirror line and hit ok okay great our job is nearly finished the everything is black so it's good we like it uh, we need to go for the holders they are here these three circles so the first dimension is 130 and the rest is 31 and remember the dimension it's 40.6 okay so let's do it again line construction from 0 131 okay it's good and again line 31 and 31 okay great so now i can go for the center diameter circle it's not construction anymore as i told you and 14 14.6 we can copy it like control like uh, control c and again here exactly as i told you control control v and the same c for creating center diameter circle control v to remember our dimension and it's great okay guys so this is how you can pretty fast create your own um, design for the novox microphone um, handle because this is the practical 3d print and practical 3d design which uh, we wanted to create and it's look it look like that so uh, as you remember from the beginning yes yeah? so this is the shape we can create in fusion and this is the shape you can get when you will 3d print it and as, and as you can see there is a novox um, a microphone and to be honest i'm using this stand even right now so it's working perfectly for me uh, let's go to the next step okay when you will extrude it so when we uh, hit this all things we can um, do it like that ah, it, that, it doesn't click it so we'll make it manual and we can make it for 10 millimeters yes and just hit ok now we can create another sketch here i will turn on the visibility of the sketch one i can project this geometry here just to have an extrusion and i will hit ok now finish sketch i will hit the e button so that's the shortcut for extrude and i can hit uh, we will check from the dimensions it's uh it's a 15 millimeters so we can put this value here uh, without the zero exactly and we will hit join okay the last thing we need to add is the fillets because uh, we need to put put them very very big uh, because um, big fillets in the 3d print technology will make our um, prints more stiffness they will be more harder so you need to remember about uh, using fillets in your 3d printing design because without them uh, there is a big um, big value big uh, big percent that uh, they would break so remember about it and try to use them because they are making your 3d prints more stronger this is the first tip i wanted to tell you and we can use also the little fillets here so the holder with the microphone will fit more perfectly more smoothly uh, without them it would be hard to um, connect them okay let's hit okay our first part is created now let's go to the software which we'll create from our ST stl objects a g code for our 3d printer so i will um, go to the bodies i hit the right mouse button and i will click save as mesh i'm choosing stl binary and i'm hitting ok one more time so i'm creating my this time body 2 stl file on the uh, desktop i'm hitting save and now i can go to the next software where i can create my g code so um, I will click uh, close here because I was already using it uh, and we will turn it on. 3 d is the uh, 
company um, that is creating also 3D printers and it has its own slicer. Uh, we can use it, it's pretty um, easy to use, but it's working pretty the same with the very popular um, 3D printing slicer which is called um, repeater hoster. So the slicers are very very similar uh, but this one um, is really easy to use and I'm also own the um, 3D printer from this company so that's why I'm using it um, and I really can say that it's uh, very very nice to use it. It's a good software where uh, even the um, professionalists like uh, and, and also Noob uh, can find something for uh, for himself. So let's wait a little bit and it's going on. Okay, so we have our part and we need to um, set some things right. So I will hit close here. I need to choose my 3D printer, it's uh, one. Uh, now I need to add my model. So I'm creating the body two. It's created like that. And as you can see, it's in the red color. So it means that it won't fit in our dimensions for the 3D printer 3D against one. So we need to move it or rotate it a little bit. So I'm clicking on my model, then I'm clicking um, to the place where I can um, a little bit move it. And in the X, um, I will put value 90%. Okay, maybe not X. So we will go uh, to hit the zero. We go to Y, we hit 90 there. Let's check if this is it. Yes, exactly. This is what I wanted to do. And as you can see, it's not in the red color anymore. So we have information that our 3D printer can print something big like that. Okay, from this place, it's all. I would go to the right side. Here you can find information about the module. So this is the dimension of your nozzle. So uh, point 0.3 is very precision. So for this kind of uh, stuff, I will use uh, point 0.5. It will uh, print it faster and uh, the quality will be the same. Um, for the material, I would like to use ABS or ASA. P PLA won't be good because uh, when you put it uh, even close to the window it can change its shape so PLA it's not a good material it's easy to print but it's not good when you want to manufacture something uh, so let's go to ABS or ASA as I told you and that will be great next we can hit uh, more complex settings but more complex settings are here these uh, are about the percent of the grid which is inside our model we can also choose the shape it's it doesn't necessarily be uh, the lines or grid or anything like that so this is here as a wall offset i would like to change the value from two to three or four because when you leave it on two it may be mm, thin so you could see the grid uh, from the mm, our print so it's not good we don't like it so uh, remember to change these values to add more walls and the um, attention we ha we can change from a brim or raft we are using these two because they are um, changing the way our uh, our models are um, created so it's more they are more stiffness to the um, work ground if i'm saying it correctly but i think that you uh, can understand me so after that when you change it from raft or to brim you are ready to print so we are hitting prepare to print we need to wait a couple of seconds and our first part will be created. So uh, I hope that you like this uh, scholarship, guys, this lesson. Um, in As you can see, in the couple of minutes, you can create your own 3D project in using Fusion 360. And after that, uh, you can, in very easy way, create it by your own 3D printer. So we are going from design to prototype. I hope that you like it and... Um, I hope that you will come for my next lessons. Give me please feedback in comments if you like uh, this English lessons and if uh, you found it useful. Thank you, Jacob here.